What's going on guys? So all of you here, welcome back to Rani Video. So today we have got the new Team of the Season Moment Pyatt card to review and they have gave Pyatt five star skill moves. Now, how do you get this card? You get this card by reaching level 10 in the season progress. And you do pick between this Pyatt card on 85 plus times 10. And at the end of this video, I will be letting you guys know which one I would personally go for. The card looks exceptional. They gave him five star skill moves. He's got a four star weak foot. He is right footed with high medium work rates and he is a five foot nine player. The card itself is a 91 overall with 91 pace, 92 dribbling, 92 shooting, 80 passing 84 physicals and 49 defending as well he can play in the left wing cam and striker position and the chem style that i've decided to go for is the hunter chem style the hunter looks like a joke on this card i also did use the hunter chem style on his winter wild card as well and that card is a card i still love to this very day if you guys watch the streams you guys know that i actually use his winter wild card still in qualifiers this card yeah, this card definitely will be a nice little upgrade. But yeah, he looks amazing on a Hunter. He's got 99 acceleration with 98 sprint speed. He is going to be so quick. The shooting stats on this card look amazing. Compared to the Winter Wild card, they actually gave him a plus 5 to finishing. So now Pyatt on a Hunter Chem Star has got 99 attacking positioning with 98 finishing, 99 shot power, 92 long shots, 99 volleys, and 99 penalties. Now the Winter Wild card has actually got the finesse shot trait but this card has not got the finesse shot trait but he's got the outside foot shot trait for me i do prefer the outside foot shot trait over the finesse shot trait this year i feel like it's a nicer trait to have when actually going for a shot but yeah this card actually has less traits than the winter wild card but plus five finishing on this card is amazing the passing on the card looks solid as well the dribbling stats look amazing keep in mind they have gave them five star skill moves and the physicals 86 stamina all right 93 strength amazing 93 strength on a player that's got the stocky body type that is going to be very useful for tight situations let's say situations that you're going to get pressed by like a few players you're going to be able to use that strength use that body type and actually hold off players really really nicely now when it comes down to the links french marseille the marseille links in this game are solid you got guendouzi you got nono tavares you got yourself sanchez as well team of the season sanchez foot fantasy sanchez doesn't matter both versions are amazing so yeah pirates uh, club links are actually solid and the nationality links i don't think we need to get into it you guys know how good that french nationality is in this game for links now when it comes down to positions i will be playing pyatt in two positions the left wing position and the striker position as well so let's get into the games and let's see how good the new pyatt card is gonna be through bullet down the line to cap the vr hopefully i can just get around here there you go now nah, what is that touch i see croy but i also see pyatt coming short as well through the legs beautiful reverse ref it has to be a penalty now that's what you couldn't do with his winter wild card you couldn't pull off those reverse elasticos because it is a five star skill move 99 penalties 99 shot power top left corner is it gonna go in it does go in Pyatt, that's a good run i'm just gonna give him the ball here see if i can just use that pace hold on Let's see what we can do win behind there We've done really well. Get around you. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Just using the hill to hill ball roll there to get away from the last player. And the finish is nice. Pike could be in there. I just need to hit it through the gap there. There you go. He didn't select the center back. Ball roll this. We get him on the outside foot angle. And he slots it into the bottom corner. Fantastic run. He realized where the space was and he went straight for it. The thing I love about Pyatt in a striker position is there is times that he is like aggressive, but there's times that he actually likes to come short. Like look at him right now. He's not being too aggressive. He's giving me that passing option, which is super, super nice. He does that really well. And he notices the spaces when he could get in behind really quickly. Good overlap from Cap V. I'm going to go for a first time pass. Pyatt, hard angle. Oh, it's a decent shot. It is on that four-star weak foot. And yeah, it's a hard angle. I don't expect it to fly in. I did mistime it as well. I reckon if I greened it, it had a better chance. I'm going to call him short here. What we're going to try to do is I'm going to pass to the edge of the box and we're going to go for a finesse shot. Let's see if this is going to work. Ball roll. There you go. Green timed as well. And it does work. It goes bottom corner. Let's go for a driven pass into him there. Nice. Hard angle oh again on that weak foot but it was a decent shot it's just he couldn't get it on target i reckon though if he had a five star weak foot there that probably goes like post and in i need someone to come short in that striker position there you go mbappe's came short 
Nice R1 dribble. Payet, good angle. Green timed as well. No, he was slightly offside. I thought he stayed onside there. Get around Pogba. There you go. Let's go for a pass into Payet. Beautiful skill move. We'll roll this. He does so well to control the ball there, especially under like pressure by three players. I tried too much, dog. That's one of those moments where I just need to pass back into Marquisio and kind of like reset the play because Payet held the ball really well. Payet, make that run. Cruyff, what a pass that is. I need a good touch. It is a good touch. He's away from the player and he's finished there as well. That touch needed to be perfect. If it was a bad touch, those players easily catch up to him. We need to go forward here. We can't go backwards. Otherwise, he's going to blow the whistle. Payet, good run. See what we can do. Nice fake shot. Go for this. Nah, I'm trying too much. Way too much. I'm just like loving the fact that he's got five star skill moves. Like I've used a winter wild card for at least like 300 plus games. Something around there. Something ridiculous like that. And not being able to pull off like a Migi that's been cancelled or something like that with a Payet. Knowing that he can do a discard. It's just so nice to see. Go for a driven pass into Payet. Reverse Elastico. That is not a reverse Elastico, but look at the pace. He is so... Oh, I don't even know how Mbappe got that. I'm going to be honest. He is so fast. Once he gets that like nice touch into the space, he gets onto it so well. Payet, I need you to run. And he's in behind. Yeah, you're not going to catch him. Virgil van Dijk, you're not going to catch him. Let's go for the chip. And it actually goes in. For a second. Wait, is that the hair? It looks like it is. I believe he's using a team of the season, the hair. For a second. I thought I missed it up. We'll roll this away from the player. Mbappe, come short. Payet. Let's go through the middle there. No, he's even moved the keeper as well. I'm going to play a lock into Cruyff here. I need options. Payet, scoop round. Perfect. Oh, for a second. I thought, honestly, for a second, I thought he messed it up simply because he took a while to actually go for the shot. There was like this weird build up, but the ball went into the back of the net. So I'm happy. There's a lot of players behind the ball. I think there's a gap up here, though. There you go. Just across, sweat it across the Payet. And he actually ends up missing the hair with a very nice save. I probably should have just shot with Mbappe. I felt like Mbappe was in a good enough angle to actually go for a shot there. Is he going to read this? Is he? I mean, he kind of read it for a second, but he didn't like follow through on it. Go on, Payet. If that worked again. Shazin will come feet there. Extra touch. Nice. Payet. Go on. No! What is that? I've actually never seen that in FIFA where it kind of clips off a player and goes over the keeper and ends up hitting the crossbar. Oh, I wasn't looking and the football after Ezebio is throw on goal and we moved the keeper so he ended up missing the target. Let's go for a simple turn here. We're going to go for the switcher play and it is a great ball over to Captain Villa. It allows us just to pass it into Cruyff and the pass does not work and we end up giving him a goal kick as well. That pass into Cruyff should have worked. It 100% should have. There should have been more power behind it, but still a great pass from Payet. Shazin will go for a little flick on. No, it didn't work, but we got the bounce. Payet, what a touch. Get away from him now. Look at that pace. Please score. Oh my God, look at that pace. That pace there is amazing. To get in behind Virgil van Dijk, you guys know that is not an easy thing to do in this game. And the strength right at the end as well. The strength to hold off Virgil van Dijk while going for that shot is incredible. Ball roll scoop. I see Pyatt's run himself offside. He is back on side though. We can give him the ball here. Let's go for this and go for this. Yellow timed. I yellow timed it. It was a good shooting animation. That's the thing I've loved about Payet this year. His shooting animations are always like up there. They're always incredible. And I know for a fact, if I green time that, that's going top corner. Let's go for a through ball there. I reckon he can easily get in behind the Marcos. Look at that acceleration. Look at that. Let's do this through the player. Do this. Oh my God. Go on, Payet. Go on. No, what a save. We, I feel like we do the hard part there, right? Getting around the two players. And the easy part there is shooting, finishing. But Donnarumma pulls off a beautiful save. Early pass. Reverse Elastico. Ooh, let's see what we can do here. Reverse Elastico again. Look at that, man. Let's hit him with this. Let's do this. Go forward. Hit him with this. Oh my god, no, I did too much. I'm doing too much. I'm enjoying his five-star skill moves a little bit too much. Let's go for a player lock here into Payet. No turn. Through the middle. 
Ooh. He's got a little bit of jam on him as well. That's the thing. Like he gets these like crazy weird bounces. I'm trying to get around the player here and we do exactly that and just go for the low driven. I love the fact that when we get into those kind of situations where he has to use his strength a little bit, he uses that strength really well because of his stocky body type. Mbappe's in, but I reckon, yeah, he's going to leave Paya open. Now we can just do this, get around the two players and slot it home. So my final thoughts on a new team of the season moment, Paya. I ended up playing five games and I scored 10 goals. His shooting ability on that stronger foot is exceptional. You get at a decent angle, time it right, it's going in. The amount of power behind the shot is outrageous. The shots on the four-star weak foot, though, you can definitely tell there's like a few chances that you would want it to go in, but ends up missing. But then there's other chances where it's like, oh, it's actually a really good shot on that four-star weak foot. It's exactly what you expect of a four-star weak foot. But shooting all round, I was really happy with it. The shooting is amazing on this card. The pace, joke. It is crazy when he's on that Honda Kem stole. Getting in behind so easily. Getting in behind, team of the year Virgil van Dijk. Now that is something I don't say every day. Passing ability, he hasn't got like a KDB kind of pass to him, but he's passing for a striker slash winger. It's perfectly fine. Dribbling, I was so happy with his dribbling ability. So happy. You don't notice he's 84 balance at all. And for me, I know some people are saying an engine chem style looks good on a card, and I'm not saying it doesn't. An engine chem style definitely does look good on a card. It's just, I don't believe he needs that engine. Like the dribbling, the way he was uh, pulling off those skill moves, the Megiddy spin cancel, uh, the reverse allow elastico the normal elastico all those five star skill moves were coming off perfectly with him and the left stick dribbling and the r1 dribbling was amazing on this card as well so i don't believe you need to go for an engine but if you want to go for an engine obviously go ahead and do it it's just i personally believe the hunter is the way to go the physicals 93 strength it was so nice so so nice the best example of how good his strength was was when we scored a goal while he was under pressure well uh, i believe it was virgil van dyke i'm not 100 i can't remember exactly but i believe it was virgil van dyke putting him under pressure and he held off virgil van dyke while going for the shot as well that is the best example of how good this guy's strength is it is a joke the fact that he's got the stocky body type as well it means he gets into those physical battles way more often and yeah he wins those he wins those physical battles an amazing amazing card and a card that i want to compare to a few league and wingers a better pele he can play down the line and he is a very good winger as well when i stick him on that hawk chem stole but i definitely do prefer Payet over pele do i prefer Payet over bamba i definitely do do i prefer Payet in that winger position over Cherky? i do do i prefer Payet in that winger position over janola now this is a big one you guys know how good janola is but i do i do pi this Payet card is amazing i will say shooting wise janola is better at shooting because of that five star weak foot coming out of that left hand side but this Piat card pace wise dribbling it's better than janola he is amazing and it's a card that i definitely do recommend picking over the 85 plus times 10 i do listen all right the 85 plus times 10 we all know it will be amazing especially during team of the season but this card is incredible and this is why i'm putting this card in the s tier he's so good so so good just so nice on that hunter chem style. am i going for payet <sighs> it's a tough one to say do you know why i'm like kind of questioning if i'm gonna go for him because of the 85 plus times 10 being so good for uh foot champ rewards and i know a lot of people want to see that pack four foot channel reward so i haven't made that decision just yet but he is amazing but that is going to be it for the video hope you guys did enjoy it if you did make sure to leave a like make sure to subscribe and i'll see you guys next time peace